up guys, it's Mikey Tamumu here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now it's 7am, I haven't slept yet, I'm actually a bit tired. Been working a bit on my timestamps of a Gothic 3, the playthrough of Adenos. But, uh, you know, it's still 7am. I think I'm gonna skip the night when it comes to sleep. So, uh, welcome to episode uh, 12, part 2, Abakaresh, where we're gonna continue where we left off in the previous episode, which is completing the quests of Bakaresh. So without further ado, guys, let us continue. I do hope I, that I have enough arrows. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Come on. Yes. As soon as I get my poison arrows, I know I'm kind of screwed. Because of the fact that I only have 20 poison arrows. I want to hit that fucking jackal. <laughs> this game sometimes. Thank you. 
So the reason why I'm using this tactic is one, my character is not that strong when it comes to strength. And two, you know, these beasts kill me relatively quickly. As well as I have a bit of a, how shall I say it, healing potion supply problem. Arena. I'm gonna do all the arenas of the game, um, which is Mertana and the Desert, in one single video. So, you know, I'm gonna try to extend those part as quickly, well, as long as possible, basically, before I'm gonna go to North Bar. So I can do every single arena in one single video. Which, you know, also allow me to stack up a bit on healing, on capabilities in combat, etc. To make things a bit easier. And gold problems, I also have that, as you can see. Eat the points, bitch. Go get him, skeleton. Go get him. Go. Gap. I think I already completed the caskets. Pretty sure I did. It's a bit confusing, you know, since the fact that uh, the episode that I timestamped, which uh, cost me one and a half hours nearly, well, a bit more. Since I have to pause, you know, on every moment that I have to make a timestamp note, if you will. But, um, Bakaresh was that uh, particular episode, so it's a bit confusing. supplies especially arrows for the uh, mine crawlers over there 
Go back now. Rest in peace, Garrett. Let me quickly check. We are the chosen people. You shall pay it with your blood. Alright, so let me quickly go from area to area in order to purchase potions, arrows, and what have you. Provided I can afford it. Because at the moment I'm a bit of a uh, poor sucker. Both in game and in life. At the moment. Show me your goods. Now, bison skins are crest related. Um, let's see. I can sell those if I wanted to, but I still have to do the quests in Geldern, which require me to deliver gold nuggets as well as uh, sulfur nuggets. So I'm gonna keep them for now, but they would certainly help when it comes to gold. Yup, they certainly would. My Grona Manables you will need for two to be precise, which I have for, um, for a quest which is um, for Tunnel Rumbler, if I'm correctly, if that's its name, Sabertooth Tigers, you need about s two dozen, so twelve, no, two dozen is twenty-four, I think it was only twelve, not twenty-four, but uh, Shadow Beast Skins, or Source, you need for Vanguard the Capital together with the Hammers, Shovels I don't need, Shadow Beast skins are for weapon crafting. Wolf skins are for a quest and for rapid crafting. And uh, that's basically it. So basically I'm still a poor sucker. God damn it. Not enough to make potions. What's your problem, man? Get back to work. Excuse me. Wow, five pieces of meat. <sighs> Lovely meal. Alright, so that this area is not gonna work. Now we're gonna go to Radic. I'm too lazy to walk, you know, so I'm just gonna use TP stones. not originally intended since it's Bakaresh part 2 but um I can certainly use the gold right now so I think it's gonna be a smart choice alright I don't have arrows let me first supply on arrows at least 
as much as I can get. Don't cause any more trouble here. That might help me. Alright, so let's quickly take care of the orcs. Now the reason why I don't shoot deer is because of the fact that it doesn't insta-kill them. If they run out of screen they will regenerate, so it's kind of pointless. Now I can dip my blades into poison, but as soon as I get quite a bit of gold, at least, don't have much to spend, you know, or, well, have to purchase, as in have to in the need, you know, then I will be able to get myself a better sword, and then I will dip that blade in uh, poison, instead of dipping this one and sell this one, because I can't use it anymore. Alright, so this is going to be fascinating. Right through. Yeah, right. Stop it right now. Freak you, man. Freak you. Now I also need mana potions. God damn it. Hey, chicken. Chicken slayer. <laughs> Good job, skeleton. You know the drill. I am proud to be your master. Now you are mine. Nope. At least I get some free meat here. The skeleton had a good senpai. Scare times, guys. Scare times.
only 20 XP, but I'm doing it for that meat. The only problem is now, I don't have mana potions. But I do have meat. Thank you for thy service. Go. All right, so let's go again to Reddick. Too late to walk, you know. Someday this will end. The orc patrol on the farm is no more. Thanks be to Enos. That troop really gave me a headache. I really don't want to know how you did it. Well done, anyway. Here's a share of our gold, stranger. Better something than nothing in these scary times. You know what, I'm just gonna sell Amnesia and I'm gonna sell Healing. No, no, Healing is really a uh, must-have keep. Sleep could be handy. I'm gonna sell those as well. I can sell those. What can I make blanks out of it? I'm not quite sure. I don't think you can. But, um, hmm. I'm gonna keep on to them for now. Um, what else can I sell? The teeth. Torches. I never use torches. Fuck torches. 3,000 gold, what the fuck do? But I came here with, with 600 gold, so it's quite a profit. Step 1. Regenerate for free. Step 2. Spend all your motherfucking gold. Show me your goods. Uh, those two are 3,000, 4,000, really. Mm. But I do need the arrows, but it's... Why am... why so expensive, man? Let me check if I have the mana recipe. No, I do not. I do have the wine. How much wine do I have? 15. It's not gonna do much. Mm. Let me get a recipe. I'm gonna go for the cheapest, of course. Where is it? Here it is. And I do want the healing potions. And I do want... Where are the fire arrows? I don't have enough experience. Alchemy, alchemy, 34. Mana potions is 20. Teach me something about alchemy. You don't have enough gold with you. It sucks to be poor. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it either. Nope, I need a thousand. Now I don't use this, but I invested a thousand into that one. Reason why I keep the Ring of Endurance is for Tunnel, tunnel Rumbler, but then again, gold is currently more important. Teach me. I want to brew mana potions. 
Ah, uh, mana potions. Their power develops in their effect. They are a source of pure magic power. There are various recipes for these potions. So get yourself one, find the necessary ingredients, and go for it. And now I'm ever poorer than ever before. Only six, really. Damn. <laughs> I bought the wrong one. But at least I have arrows, a few. But every little bit helps. So uh, where is a buckarish? Oh, don't say I forgot to take that one. Oh, really? Healing plants, yeah. Potions. Look over there, it's crocodile. One of the most dangerous beasts in the world. I'm gonna get it. Is it wrong to be a coward? <laughs> you really judge. Those awful beasts! <clears throat> what a horrid beast! Yeah, horrid beasts. At least I died. Yep. I resurrected. So I'm God, guys. I'm God. I don't have the ingredients for that. Alright, they know it's well too. Well, better two than none. Show me your goods. At least you have arrows. Now, if I had gold. You know what? I'm gonna sell these. Nah. Even though I'm pretty sure you can't really make blanks out of them, as far as I know. I need all the arrows I can get. I'm broke. I'm sure you've still got things to do. More than I like. The ruins are safe. No more danger for the slaves? Let them dig. Good. I'll offer a deal to Aldo. As for you, 
You helped me out. Thank you. And as for the tribute for Amul, I think we can trust you with it. Gold. I managed to convince the merchants. So you won their trust. Great. Here, this gold should help Amul to starve off the ire of Beliar. And don't you get any ideas? Take that gold directly to Amul. If you try and make off with it, you won't be able to enjoy it for long. Don't worry. I'm a man of honor and principle. And his dominion will come. And then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. You don't say. And Beliar knew his enemy. And his wrath was great. Welcome to Bakaresh, the city of Beliar, Pilgrim. My name is Amul. I am one of the Black Mages. My name is none of your business. Can I learn from you? Casting the spells of Beliar requires great wisdom. And? And I will not teach you before you have rendered outstanding services to the city of Bakaresh. Nice temple you've got here. Yes. You want to see the inside as well, don't you? But you will not set foot in the temple unless I permit you to do so. And what do I have to do for that? What do you think? Make yourself useful. You can find out everything else for yourself. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants. I bring the tribute from the merchants. Fair enough. Give to the mages so that they may turn away the wrathful gaze of Beliar. Better said, give the gold so that you can become more powerful than the gifts of Beliar. Because that's what you're doing. I am not an idiot. No, we do not know if we can trust you. Man, F you then. No, we do not know if we can trust you. That also requires... We are the chosen... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wealth for us. Dominion for Beliar. Hey, and his hey dominion you. Will come. Yes, you. And then I mean you. What do you want? You look tremble. like a man who wants to make so lots of gold and fast. Gold, else you shall pay with your blood. Who Beliar is there to fight? No ah, for the weak I present you a marvelous selection of the desert's best fighters. First comes Irhabar the Bloody. He's one tough buster. And he likes to finish off his vic uh, opponents. Next, I will send you Ahmed of all trades. There isn't a maneuver he doesn't know. Not a move he has mustered. And the grand finale will be our champion, the undefeated king of Bakaresh, Mufasa the Savage. In the course of his career, he has fought in over a hundred matches and hasn't lost many. He shall reward us. Shut the fuck up, man. We are the what are the rules? People. I'll have you know that no slaves are fighting here in Bakaresh. These are the greatest gladiators of the desert. Hashashins who have earned themselves a place in the arena through their deeds and their skills. And the rules? Each fight costs 1,000 gold coins. Besides that, there is no pity for the weak, only pain and death. But those among you who do good business must pay their tribute. For what use is your gold in the face of Beliar's inexorable wrath? Once his wrath is awakened, it is too late. Then will your prayers fade away unheeded. Do you hear it, guys? Silence. Just the way I like it. Hey, watch it. What? Don't go running around here. Why not? There are savage nomads who attack everybody on sight. You'll also find a lot of lurkers over there. And when I say a lot, I mean a whole lot. We can only hope that they're all going to kill each other off. You don't say. I have come to get your report. Uh, well, Silvio sent you, right? Exactly. I can't give you that report. If Silvio finds out what is going on here, he'll have my head. So? So, help me deal with those nomads and Silvio can have his report.
sorry about that, my friends, but uh, my feet were getting cold. Tell me all about those nomads. There is only a handful of them, but they're armed to the teeth. We uh, kept an eye on them. They're sitting in a cave right over there. Then let's finish them off. Are you out of your mind? Those are nomads. I tell you what. Better flush them out, and then we finish them off here. Like you will be any useful. What the do to miss the yard? The power of Belia. And we first take care of these uh, sand lurkers. I'll show you, motherfucker. Hey, watch what you're doing. Eager. Go, Scanton. Go. Hey, watch what you're doing, will you? Hey, that's the way. Hey, watch what you're doing, will you? Hey, watch what you're doing, will you? Hey, watch what you're doing, will you? I'm gonna let you have it. Fatality. Motherfucker. That was my XP, man. May the ban, may Baliar show his wrath upon you. Fatality. He didn't kill him. Well, that's very kind of him. Good job, skeleton. Rest in peace in the realms of the dead. Go back. Well, that's done. Let me deliver the report 
and then we're gonna go into part three. Basically. Those nomads are history. Boy, oh boy, you did really well. Here is a little something for you. This is how the city of Bakarish shows its appreciation. <laughs> Let go, man. I feel rich already. What about your report? Hey, man, no problem. Go to Silvio and tell him that we have the situation under control. Yeah, that's the kind of report I expected to deliver. Oh, would you look at that? I pledge you booze. I can sell booze. Shall I quickly sell? Yeah, why not? Let me quickly uh, sell some stuff. Oh no. Fuck Beliar. I am Ahmed, Ahmed of all trades. You know a thing or two about weapons? I am master of various fighting styles. If you have some gold, I can teach you. You don't have enough gold with you. Precisely my point, man. Shut up! Since that business with the trolls, animal fights have been forbidden in the arena. Trolls? Yeah, it was Amal's idea. He wanted to make things more spectacular. It was quite a spectacle, all right, but not exactly the way he imagined. You had better not disturb Don't cause it. Show me your goods. I cannot give this to you. You are not worthy. Oh, do you hear that, guys? <laughs> I'm not worthy. I feel so. I feel so. So, so sad. Well, how much gold? Oh, well, that's not really that much. Oh, wait, I do need about 10 max for uh, the fat man. Which is quest related, you know. Don't have those anti diseases yet, so I have to keep those claws I can sell. Got some arrows, by the way. Show me. Thank you. Teach me something about alchemy. You are not ready for that. Okay, so with alternative balance, in order to make permanent potions, I need transformation potions. Yeah, that don't, doesn't make any sense, but. Okay, no problem. Then at least I have to get it in this playthrough, because in the other two I didn't. You are not ready for that. I want to poison, so here it is. You are not ready for that. Carry on like that. Yeah. Teach me how to make poisons. Basically, poison is no different than a regular healing potion. You need a recipe, the ingredients, and an alchemist's bench. Dump it all together and stir well. When it becomes a sticky substance, you're finished. And then I was poor again. Show me your goods. Yep. You got poison. 2,000 gold. 800, I can't even afford that. Mm. I do want the recipe, so you know what? How much gold do I need? Uh, let me let me check. Eight hundred. I six 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 fifty bath. Three hundred gold should be enough. Thank you, gangster. Poison blabbers are from the lurkers. Or at least swamp lurkers. 
nothing more to be had there. Too bad. I brought Acrobor's report. And? The situation is quiet. I think we both know that we don't have Acrobor to thank for that. Here, you should be paid for your work. Well, you pay better than most. Do you have anything else that needs to be done? Sand crawlers have shown up behind the arena again. There are more and more of them. The beast must have a nest somewhere. So track down the beasts. Find their cursed nest and smoke it out. Aye, aye, Captain. Now, since I have the recipe to make poison, and lurkers are not really that rare in this vicinity, shall I poison my blades? Yeah, I'm gonna poison them. I don't have enough experience. Oh, I don't know how to poison my blade. Touche. And anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button. If you want to see a different path, whether it's the human orc mercenary or the rebels, you can find both on my YouTube channel. Oh no. One second. That guy makes me nuts, but uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next part where we're gonna, I think we'll be able to finish this area when it comes to the quests that I can do, aside from the arena. But uh, if you want to look for a different path, then you can use the human orc mercenaries or the rebels, um, which is in my opinion introduced to you guys as the servant of Adenos, the human orc mercenary and the rebel is Enos and if you're looking for anything in particular let's say the fire chalices go to my Adenos playthrough because that one is the most likeliest to have its timestamps if they're not there yet they will get them but you know those things sadly do not make them themselves and I'm trying to get it, you know, done as quickly as possible. But if a video is one and a half hours, it takes me about one and a half hours to make the timestamps with all the typing, with all constant pausing and what have you. So it costs a bit of time, you know. I play more games on on basic notice than I actually timestamp because of the fact that I have to keep my videos popping up as much as possible free a day in order to should the need ever arise or should the government you know eventually say hey we will not pay you anymore that I have to go to work etc then I can at least slow things a bit down without having too much problems when it comes to keeping my channel going so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in part three thank you guys for watching i know to see you guys and next time